Hypatia of Alexandria was one of the most extraordinary intellectuals of all time. All we know about her comes from ancient documents. Unfortunately, there is scant information about her life, even though there is a consensus that she was a highly educated woman, recognized by her countrymen and having a profound impact on the period in which she lived. Hypatia achieved great prominence in multiple areas of knowledge, such as mathematics, philosophy, and astronomy, teaching about these subjects. But her mark on history was notable in the first two fields, namely mathematics and philosophy. At the time she lived, few women followed the intellectual path trodden by Hypatia. We can say that her life was different from that of most women in the ancient world. Moreover, even in relation to the men of her time, she stood out for her extraordinary wisdom. Hypatia was born around 370 AD in the prosperous city of Alexandria, Egypt in the Nile Delta, a metropolis founded by the conqueror Alexander the Great in around 330 BC. It was a great cultural center of the ancient world, with the famous Library of Alexandria, which housed an extensive archive on many areas of knowledge. Hypatia was the daughter of Theon, an important and respected mathematician, astronomer, and philosopher from Alexandria, who probably had a huge influence on her daughter's intellectual development. She even contributed to some of her father's books, although she herself authored some of her own. Unfortunately, these have been lost over time, although some well-known commentaries on mathematics and mathematicians, such as Euclid and Ptolemy, are thought to have been written by her. Hypatia was extremely close to Neoplatonism and Neopythagoreanism, two currents of thought that rekindled studies into the philosophy of Plato and the pre-Socratic Pythagoras. She may also have been interested in Plotinus's work, although we cannot be certain. While she had these philosophical preferences, she also commented on the works of other philosophers. Besides this expertise, she was also extremely talented with numbers and had an impressive rapport with mathematics. We know that Hypatia's classes were attended by both pagan and Christian students. Some of the students were wealthy, often from families with government officials. She not only taught, but also gave lectures on different topics. She often did this in public places, although there are reports that she also gave lectures in her own home. Hypatia was much admired and loved by her students, who had enormous respect for her. One of them, Synesius of Cyrene, with whom she corresponded, wrote that his tutor had created a hydrometer and an astrolabe. But there are those who say that, although she didn't create these instruments, she managed to build both with great skill. Hypatia was famous for her analytical thinking. Many mathematicians came to her for help with a specific problem, and she usually always managed to solve it, impressing everyone. Hypatia of Alexandria remained a virgin until her death. An interesting fact is that once, when asked why she had never married, she promptly replied that she was married to the truth. There is another story about Hypatia that has become well known. She was an intelligent, charismatic, and strikingly beautiful woman. Although her life was devoted to her studies and many admired her, this did not spare her from a tragic and violent death. In March 415, she was walking through the streets of her hometown when suddenly in the middle of the street, she was approached by a group of Christians who took her into a church where Hypatia was stripped naked and cruelly tortured, her body torn apart and shattered with pottery chunks. After such brutality, the remaining parts of her body were thrown into a bonfire. This terrible act was allegedly motivated by the religious and political rivalries of the time. Although we do not have extensive information about her life and deeds, everything we do know about Hypatia is enough for us to consider her one of the most famous women in history. She continues to be hugely influential, and there are even feminist magazines named after her. Hypatia has also been the inspiration for some painters, and there has even been a film adaptation about the life of this distinguished woman. Despite the lack of details about her life and possible works, the name of Hypatia of Alexandria has passed through time and become legendary.